Malnutrition. Malnutrition results from a lack of nutrients in the diet. Due to an improper or inadequate health system or problems absorbing nutrients in food and malnutrition it can lead to delayed growth or wasting. It is worth noting that undernutrition results from insufficient food supplies in many parts of the world, but in some cases, it results from health problems. Such as eating disorder or chronic diseases, and according to the World Health Organization, malnutrition is considered one of the most severe threats. Threatening public health, and at the global level, malnutrition contributes to 45% of deaths in children under the age of 5, and the elderly may also be at risk of malnutrition as well if they live alone. Symptoms of malnutrition Symptoms of malnutrition include fatigue, dizziness, and weight loss, and they may not have symptoms at all. A doctor may perform blood tests and a nutritional assessment to diagnose them, and their treatment may include replacing the missing nutrients and treating the underlying cause. Among the most common symptoms of malnutrition are Lack of desire to eat and drink Inability to concentrate The feeling is always cold loss of fat, muscle mass, and body tissues. The higher the risk of developing the disease, the greater the recovery time. Depression. Wounds take a long time to heal. Higher risk of some complications after surgery. Symptoms of acute malnutrition include. Difficulty breathing. Dry skin and paleness. The face slims, and the eyes are hollowed out. Hair loss and dryness. Respiratory failure, heart failure. There are causes of malnutrition. Many conditions can cause malnutrition, including Sanitary conditions Diseases that cause anorexia Cancer, liver disease, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, and mental illnesses such as depression and schizophrenia affect mood, reduce the desire to eat, and disrupt the ability to digest food or absorb nutrients. Other diseases such as ulcerative colitis lead to malnutrition also. Take some medications. Some types of medicines may increase the risk of malnutrition due to the side effects they cause, such as loss of appetite, diarrhea, or nausea. Physical and social factors. Of physical factors. And social issues that lead to malnutrition. Low income, poverty, and limited knowledge about proper nutrition. Physical disability. And alcohol or drug use. Treating malnutrition. Treatment of malnutrition depends on the underlying cause and the extent of malnutrition. Counseling can be given to people with it, for follow-up at home by a nutritionist or other qualified healthcare professionals, or patients may be followed up in the hospital if their suffering is severe, and include treatments changes in diets and taking supplements. So that a nutritionist provides advice or develops a customized diet to ensure that a person gets nutrients, whether by eating nutritious food or by taking supplements. It is worth noting that long-lasting malnutrition in children requires hospitalization, with adherence to dietary changes. This requires family support to provide nutrients to children, treat underlying medical problems, and take vitamins and mineral supplements. Anemia. Anemia occurs when there is an insufficient amount of red blood cells in the body, and anemia has many types. However, the most common type of anemia is anemia caused by a deficiency of iron in the body, in which red blood cells contain an iron-filled protein called hemoglobin. Since hemoglobin transports oxygen-filled blood to the body's cells, iron deficiency in the body will result in the inability to form more hemoglobin than the body needs. Thus, the occurrence of anemia and low levels of folic acid and vitamin B12 may affect the body's ability to make red blood cells. Natural remedies for anemia. Herbs are used to treat anemia. It is essential to know that the use of herbs may cause side effects or stimulate the occurrence of these effects, and the work of some types of them may interfere. So, it is essential to pay attention to not using them except under medical supervision. And it is worth knowing that using herbs to treat diseases or strengthen the body takes a long time to show results. Among the herbs that can be used to treat and control anemia are the following. Spirulina. Spirulina is a type of blue-green algae used to treat some types of anemia. However, the patient needs to be careful when taking it and consult the attending physician when taking immunosuppressive drugs. Metacago sativa. Metacago sativa is considered one of the traditional treatments used to strengthen and purify the blood. It may increase the blood strength and restore hemoglobin to its average level in mild anemia cases. 
however, it may interfere with some medications and treatments, such as blood thinning drugs. Warfarin, lithium, digoxin, and it is used by placing its roots in the water on a low heat for 20 minutes or placing its leaves for 5 minutes. It can also be combined with some other types of herbs used to treat anemia, such as Taraxacum officinale, Arctium lapa, or Rumix crispus. Taraxacum officinale. Dandelion. Taraxacum officinale is used for some cases of anemia, and it is used in the same way and with the same precautions as when using Medicago sativa. Arctium lapa. The roots or leaves of the Arctium lapa herb can be used in the same way and precautions as Medicago sativa to treat anemia. Rumix crispus. Rumix crispus is also used to treat anemia, as per the guidelines for Medicago sativa. Gentiana lutea. Gentiana lutea uses to treat anemia, this is done by facilitating and stimulating the absorption of iron and other nutrients from the digestive system. But be careful not to use this herb in cases where drugs are being taken to lower blood pressure. It is because Gentiana lutea may cause a severe drop in force, and it is worth noting that Chinese herbalists do not use this herb in cases of chronic pain or frequent urination. Stinging Nettle The stinging herb nettle contains many substances that contribute to the treatment of anemia, such as iron, vitamin C, which helps the body absorb iron, and chlorophyll, which helps treat iron deficiency anemia. Plants and foods used to treat anemia Although there is no specific type of food to treat anemia, However, a healthy diet filled with foods helps control and control anemia. The precise treatment depends on the type of anemia and its causes. However, some foods contain various kinds of foodstuffs that can support and increase the number of red blood cells in all cases, including the following. Beetroot. Beetroot is considered one of the best natural remedies for anemia. It increases blood in the body and purifies the body by supplying it with oxygen. Leafy greens. Where leafy vegetables, especially the dark ones, are an essential source of the non-heme iron type, and some varieties contain folic acid, and examples of green vegetables are, spinach, kale, Swiss chard, and others, but it is essential to know that despite the containment of some types of green vegetables such as spinach and cabbage on iron, however, it contains oxalate, which may prevent iron absorption, so it is not possible to rely on eating leafy vegetables alone to treat anemia, but instead it must be included as part of the diet. Blackstrap molasses. Blackstrap molasses is the byproduct of the sugar refining process, however, it does not contain many essential nutrients that help replenish the natural nutrients in the body. This increases the production of red blood cells, and examples include iron, manganese, and others. Grain. Examples of pills that contain iron are kidney beans, chickpeas, soybeans, pinto beans, black beans, lima beans, and others. Nuts and seeds. Many nuts and seeds contain iron, but it is preferable to eat them uncooked, including pumpkin seeds, cashews, pistachios, hemp seeds, pine nuts, sunflower seeds in addition to almonds. Therefore, they contain large amounts of calcium. Taking it might not significantly increase iron levels in the body. Symptoms of anemia. Symptoms may appear at first, but the reason for the error that led to anemia. Among the symptoms. You feel general fatigue and weakness. Paleness and yellowing of the skin. Irregular heartbeat. Shortness of breath. You feel dizzy. Pain in chest. Cold in hands and feet. You feel a headache.